Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about perimeter and area of plane figures. And we're going to start with area and perimeter of the rectangle. So without further ado, let's start. From the definition of the rectangle, rectangle has four sides. And the opposite sides of the rectangle are congruent. So meaning the measurements of the opposite sides of the rectangle are equal. So if we mark this one as W, which is width, and this one as L, which is length, look at the opposite sides of W and length, so or L. So we have the same measurement because from the definition itself, the opposite sides are congruent. So their measurements are equal. For the perimeter of the rectangle, we have to find the total measurement of the sides. So meaning we have to add their measurements. So perimeter of the rectangle is equal to length plus width plus length plus width. Or simply, we have 2 times length plus 2 times width. Or the easiest way is to add the length and width, then multiply it by 2. Therefore, this is our for formula in finding the perimeter of the rectangle. For the area of the rectangle, just simply get the length and multiply it to its width. So this is our formula for the area of the rectangle. For the first example, we have the measurements of the size 7 cm for length, 3 cm for width. Without writing the other measurements, we all know that the opposite sides are equal. So this one is 7 cm and this one is 3 cm. To find the perimeter of the rectangle, just add the measurement of the sides. So again, perimeter that is equal to 7 centimeters for the first side plus 3 7 centimeters for the second side which is the width plus 7 centimeters for the third side, the opposite side of 7 centimeters plus 3 centimeters for the last side which is the opposite of 3 centimeters. So that is equal to 7 plus 3, 10 plus 7, 17 plus 3, that is equal to 20 centimeters. Or the easiest way is this one, just add 7 plus 3, so 7 centimeters plus 3 centimeters, multiply it by 2. 7 plus 3, that is equal to 10 centimeters times 2. That is equal to 20 centimeters. The same as the first formula. So we can use the other formula. Just add the, the length 7 plus 3, 10 times 2. That is equal to 20 centimeters. For the area of the rectangle, so we just multiply the length and width. So area of rectangle, that is equal to length times width. So by substituting the uh, values of the sides, so we have 7 centimeters as the length times 3 centimeters as the width. So that is equal to 7 times 3, 21 square centimeters. Take note, 7 centimeters times centimeters, that is equal to square centimeters. We read the square first before the unit of centimeters. So the final answer is 21 square centimeters. So let us have example number 2 having the measurements of 5 inches and 2 inches, 5 inches for length and 2 inches for width. Again, without uh, writing the other measurements of the sides, we can identify that the opposite sides are equal. So this one is 5 inches and this one is 2 
inches. So to pa- to find the perimeter of the rectangle, just add the length or the measurements of the sides. So perimeter. So that is equal to five inches plus two inches plus five inches plus two inches or just use the simplest formula which is add the length and width then multiply it by 2 so 5 plus 2 that is equal to 7 inches times 2 that is equal to 14 inches So for the area of the rectangle, just multiply the length and width. So area is equal to length times width. So by substituting the formula, the length is equal to 5 inches and multiply it to width. Width is equal to 2 inches. Therefore, 5 times 2, that is equal to 10 square inches. So again, we write the square first. Uh, we read the square first before the unit. So the final answer is 10 square inches. For you to have the mastery of the topic, let us have another example. Having the measurements of 10 meters for length and 4 meters for width. So, as you can see, without writing the other measurements, we all know that the opposite sides are equal. So, this one is 10 meters and this one is 4 meters. So, to find the perimeter of the rectangle, just add the measurements of the sides. So perimeter, that is equal to 10 meters plus 4 meters for the width plus 10 meters for the opposite side of the 10 meters plus 4 meters for the other measurement of the side, the opposite side of 4 meters. So if we add, that is equal to 28 meters. Or use the other formula, that is P is equal to length plus width times 2. So that is equal to 10 meters plus 4 meters times 2. So 10 plus 4, that is 14 meters times 2. That is equal to 28 meters. Again, for the area of the rectangle, so just multiply the length and width. So therefore, area is equal to length times width for the formula. Length is 10 meters times width is equal to 4 meters. Therefore, if we multiply 10 times 4, that is equal to 40 meters times meters, that is equal to square meters. So therefore, our final answer is 40 square meters. That's it guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned from my video. And if you learned, please subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification bell button.